心酸，沉重的脚步勉强来离开。我白的土石，我白的痛苦，不愿来流浪。我心像海波浪，有起也有落。但今日哪分开，何时再相逢？台湾的人生坎坷的运命，必然来分开。这款的心酸，这款的苦楚。Welcome to the first in the series of Taiwanese classes.、Um, I, like many foreigners who are in Taiwan, have、uh, loved the culture, trying to understand more the Taiwanese, and, yes, and also for work as well.、Um, it's, it's important to learn the Taiwanese language.、Um, it's something a lot of foreigners want to do in Taiwan, but there's not the resources available. So today, me and、uh, my good friend Carlson have decided to make this make as much resources as we know available. And he's an excellent teacher. I'm I'm horrible. I'm I'm gonna have bad pronunciation, but listen to him. Ah,、uh, come gonna, on, he's gonna, he's gonna tear up. The... Hello, everyone. My name is Dawson. It's not,、uh, it's my pleasure to、uh, teach my、uh, mother tongue to you guys, and I will try my best to teach you the tones of of Taiwanese today. Hmm. Yes, yes. Thank you, Dawson. He's the man. I will recommend if you if you're looking to really learn Taiwanese, learn it well. It's a great book.、Um, Taiwanese made easier. It's worth all、What's、your money. Taiwanese made easier are、uh, Danny Tai, and it comes in a series of two or three. It's it's fantastic, and so so some of the brass and stuff we're taking from that, and the rest is something we're making up on our own. So when you when you're learning Taiwanese, it's well one of the first things you need to know where it's spoken. So it's yes. spoken. Yes,、um, you want to take this one. And in Taiwanese, we have、uh, how many tones? Even the Taiwanese will forget that. Oh, yes, seven true, true. or eight. It's spoken in Taiwan itself.、Um, yeah, I remember、well, there are seven or eight, and Nathaniel will、question. and Nathaniel will tell you more about tones later. Yeah, I can do it right now.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're they're actually. So we have one, two,、mm-hmm. three, four, five, seven, eight. Yes. Where is number six? It's a good question. Why there? Why why is there no number six? Taiwanese is really easy to learn. But one of the hardest parts about it is getting over the tones, getting over that first tone, and so it makes the tones difficult. Is as as opposed to Mandarin, where you have five or or six, depending on who you're talking to. The Taiwanese has eight, and so what happens here? The first set of series here, there's seven, and Ta and Taiwanese tones will also change tones. And so, for example, if you're using a word or a word or a character in a sentence, it'll be different as opposed to using that word or character at the end of a sentence or at the end of a noun. And because of that,、uh, you'll have seven. That you start with, that don't change, and then when you change the tone itself, for example, the beginning of a word or two syllables, three syllables of a word, then it's going to produce a different set of tones. All right, and in those different set of tones that we learn in our next class, there's a tone that you don't see represented here. And so today we're going to master that the seven tones of Taiwanese themselves, and then the next class we'll, we'll master the other tones, which has one new tone. Of、uh, actual the, the Taiwanese tonal changes and the rules that go along with that, which、yeah, actually really has eight. So、yes, we'll have eight. So the first lesson we will only see seven, and in the next lesson we will have eight. Yes. And the first song、uh, we're gonna show you is, okay, it sounds like a, san, san, san、mm-hmm. in Taiwanese it means three. Okay.、Mm-hmm. So san, san is the, is the highest one,、mm-hmm. and the length is the, and it's longer than the this one. And so we can、uh, practice like this. Sa, sa. Imagine how you pronounce the、uh, word, and you'll be like sa, sa. So uh, sa. Yeah, sa. That means sa. three, three. Sa. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So it's just a, and and just and just so you know, this is going from higher to lower. So ah, oh, at the very very bottom. Um, and also what we're using here is the adopted version from the Jiao Yu Bu that of the romanization of Taiwanese itself. And so this is what Taiwanese is using right now. It's what they're using in school, and it's, it's highly recommended.、Um, and so we'll be teaching more of that as the class progresses.、Um, when you do see this "n" right here, it's not to be pronounced. All, all that means is that it's a nasal 
uh, nasal cavity voiced, or it's an actual voiced word yeah. as opposed to when it's not voiced. All right? Yes. So, sa. Yeah. Sa. Yes. Sa. A. A. Mm. And again, don't learn my pronunciation. Learn his. He's awesome. Okay, and the second one we mm -hmm. will show you is Dao. Mm. In Taiwanese, it means nine. Nine. So mm -hmm. it sounds like this. Gao. Gao. Your turn. Uh, eh? Gao. Yes. Gao. Gao. Good. Gao. It's a nine. Oh, dang, that's very nice. Yeah, it means and just nine. how we write it like this. So even though it's a falling tone, when you when you do write the pinyin itself, it actually goes up. So just FYI, in the future lessons, so you know. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Number three. And the third one, you will be like this. So as you can see, it's getting lower. So this mm -hmm. one we say, Xi. 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 We get a symbol, they're similar, but this one is lower. So the way you pronounce this uh, word, you need to uh, pronounce it in a lower way. Like, Xi. Xi. Okay, Nathaniel. Xi. Yeah, first. Xi. Xi. And for mm -hmm. these two symbols, uh, they are a little bit like a, like a trace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we say xi, and then this one we say gao. Mm -hmm. So I think this, these two, they sound like a trace, but this one is in the middle, so it sounds higher than this one. Okay, mm -hmm. so this one we say gao, mm -hmm. and this one we say xi. Mm -hmm. Just, so, just the uh, gao. Yeah, xi. Yeah, very xi. good. Gao, xi. Xi. Oh. Right, thank you. Thank you. What, what does xi mean? All right. Uh, xi in Taiwanese it means number four. Oh. Four. That's good to know. All right. So let's move on to the next one. Number four. The word we will show you is. Oh. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one we say be. Be. Look at the symbol. Is shorter, is shorter, and it's in the middle. Mm -hmm. So we say be, be. Oh, um, be. Yeah, be. be. Oh, I think that. In the uh, just just a side note here, we'll discuss this one in other classes. The reason why we know that you see there's no tonal marker on top of this vowel. The reason why we know it's a fourth tone and not a first tone is because it ends in an H. All right, so just just FYI, we'll cover those later. Mm -hmm. But so just just seeing the differences. Mm -hmm. This is. Yes, be, 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 be. And what does this mean? Eight. Oh, eight. It's an eight. Okay. Now we have. All right. So moving on to number five. And for number five, the symbol it looks like a check. So oh, yeah. you can imagine the way you uh, you pronounce this word is like how to say that? It's more. It's not a straight, it's not a direct. Yeah. It's like and, a valley. Yeah. And this one we say A. A. Mm. Yeah, two oh. songs to me. Mm. Yeah. A. A. In the middle, but it sounds like two songs uh, mm -hmm. together. Yeah. Okay. A. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. Eh? And what does this mean? That means uh, 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 something of someone. Uh, for example, um, mm -hmm. wa e, wa means uh, wa in Taiwanese it means I. And when you say okay. wa e, wa e, that means mine. Okay, mine. Yeah, you so it's sort of the are the. of something. Is it? Um, of something. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Sorry for my horrible Chinese <laughs> writing. Alright, moving on to number seven. Number seven, this one, mm -hmm. as you can see, it looks like this one, but the difference is the mm, different, lower. Yeah, lower. lower yeah. Pitch. And the word we're gonna show you is uh, this one. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Go. Go. And you remember the first one we show you is sa, sa, mm. go, go. Mm. This 
sounds similar. Yeah, but this one it sounds lower. Go. Uh, go. Yes. Go. 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 It means five. Oh, in Taiwanese it means five. Uh, go. Nice, nice. No, no. Sweet. And then number eight, please. Number eight. Mm -hmm. For this one, you can see uh, it's in the same place, um, like uh, number one. But this one looks shorter, so the way we pronounce this word will sound shorter. Mm -hmm. And uh, please, uh, I don't know. This one, okay. right. this one we say la. 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 In Taiwanese, that means six. Oh. And this one we say sa. Sa. La. La. They sound similar, but this one, it sounds shorter. It, la. Uh, it's the same pitch, it's just different links. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay. La. Yes. La. 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 Alright. And what does this mean? Six. Six. Okay. Yeah, that means six. 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 Great. Awesome, awesome. So these are the, the tones themselves. Do you do a review very quickly? Yes. Okay. So the first one, the first tone, it sounds like that. Sa, sa, mm. sa, that means number three, okay? Mm. It means three. Mm. Sa. Mm. So I will suggest. Nathaniel, you can read with me. Uh, this one we say sa, 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 sa. Uh, in Taiwanese, that means three. Mm. Sa. And then the second sa. one is gao. Mm. Gao. Mm. It's in the middle and sounds like a stress. Gao. Mm. And in Taiwanese, it means nine. Gao. Mm. Okay. Yes, gao. Gao. Mm. So it starts from the first tone, drops all the way down. Yes. Very quickly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the third one is similar with the second one, mm -hmm. that is lower, and it also sounds like a trace. And this one we say, xi. Mm. So an example would be xi. Xi. Yeah, and the example is, uh, that means number four. Mm. For in Taiwanese, xi, that means four. Oh. Yes, she. What happens if you say she in the second tone? Okay, very, uh, that's a very good question because mm. you can compare these two songs. Okay, this one we can say again. We say gao. Mm. Gao. And this one we say she. Mm. She. Ao. E. Ao. Mm. E. It's a little higher than this one. Mm. It's a little higher than this one. But they are all sounds like a stress. What happens if you actually say she? You don't say she. She. Okay. Oh. That would be very bad. Yes. No, so that, that was my point. Yes. No. All right. In Taiwanese. So uh, be careful with your tongue. In Taiwanese, she. If you say it in a lower way, yes, that means four. She. And if you say like in this way, she. She. That means die. That means death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you need to be careful with these two. Sometimes they might get you in. A little trouble. A little trouble, yes, be good. <laughs> okay. There you go. Move back. Number three. Okay, uh, number... Oh, excuse me, number four. Yeah, it should be number four. Mm -hmm. Number four, right. okay, we say, be. 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 You can, you can see the symbol is shorter, so mm -hmm. the song is shorter. Be. In the middle. Be. Mm -hmm. Be. Yes, be. 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 And in Taiwanese, be, that means Eight. 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 Mm -hmm. And the next one is a special one. As you can see, it looks like a check. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so so the song is not direct. Okay. The example is A A A. A. Yes, good. A. A. Uh, in Taiwanese, for, for example, uh, something belongs to you, and you say Wa e bi My pen Okay, mm. that means my pen Wa e Wa e Wa e Yes, it is It's like wo de mm -hmm. Okay mm. And the next one The example is Go Go That means five Go, mm -hmm. go, okay. And this one is uh, in the same place as um, number four, okay? Mm. Number four, we say, be, be, mm. 
波，对，我，个 ，the same page， but just the length of、um, pronunciation， okay， okay， long get it， okay， yeah， longer，、mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and the last one is， la， la， and since it's the、uh, same place as number one， so we will， uh， so we will compare with them， okay， so the first one we say sa， sa。And next one we say, la, la. It sounds short. Uh, it sounds shorter. Mm. Yeah, but the same pitch. Okay, mm. so, so we're blurring it out. So this one we say la, ah,、uh, la. Yes, la, la. It's very high and very short. Okay. Yes, la.、Okay. Okay. And in Taiwanese, that means uh six. Hmm. Six. So here are the tones. That was the focus of today's class. Wow. Okay. All right. So those are tones and uh. Dawson has a surprise for us. Teach us some Taiwanese phrases. Yeah. So yeah. before we say goodbye, and、mm-hmm. that、uh, we can have、uh, two practical one that、uh, mm-hmm. for you to greet your Taiwanese friends.、Mm-hmm. Okay. The first one will be Li He. Okay. Li He. And the pinyin looks like this. Excuse me. Oh. There you go. All right, and、um, this one, which means how are you? How are you? Okay, Li He, Li He. Just have a, a Mandarin equivalent,、mm-hmm. so we know. And uh, so uh, let's break this up first. See what each、uh, word means in itself.、So、the first one here, Li. All right, that means Li Yu. All right, we're doing our second tone here. You can see that we're using the same、uh, tone representation. All right,、yes. and this one, He. Mm. He, which means fine or good.、Mm. Good, good. And so、uh, in English today, we're not going to cover this in detail. But just so you're pronouncing this correctly, if you listen to Gosson or you have a keen ear, then you know it's possible it's not pronouncing the second tone for the first one. Actually, pronouncing the first tone. All right. And the、uh, the reason for that is, and we're not going to talk about this in detail. Pronunciation.、Oh, sorry, I'm so used to Mandarin. Me. Yeah.、Um, the reason for this is the second tone when it comes in the front of a word, for example, with many syllables, or it's actually used in a sentence,、mm-hmm. uh, or several other rules that we'll talk about at a later date.、Um, it'll actually change to the first tone. All right. So when you hear people in Taiwan saying "hello" or "ni hao," what they're actually saying is "di he." All right. So、But we don't、he. say "di he" because it sounds it sounds not right. Yeah, it sounds yes, not yes. right.、Mm-hmm. Yes. And then the time your sentence will change. The good thing is the last word or last character in the Taiwanese sentence will never change.、Mm-hmm. So we know, yes, he. This is he. So great. All right. Do you have anything else for us? Or、mm, the second one? How about、oh, okay. the xia? All right. The xia. And please write pinyin for everyone. Yes. The xia. All right. And which means thank you very much. Oh wow. Okay. The xia. And so we break this up. The first one here is we say the, all right, the, uh-huh,、mm-hmm. uh, which means much. Okay, and our here is xia, xia, all right, which means thank you. Ah,、oh, xia. So we're actually saying 多谢 Yeah. Then, okay, so it's just translate it, everything. It's yeah. It's it's like a 多谢 Okay. And、so、in Taiwanese we say 得下 Oh, good,、mm-hmm. good. And for those who listen clearly, what we're actually having here is the tones change. So if we pronounce this correctly, we're This first tone here is going to become a seventh. This is going to stay the same because it's the last word, last character in sentence or in phrase.、Mm-hmm. So it becomes the xia, which is what Gosson's been pronouncing. The xia.、Mm. Yes. The xia. So、uh, use it, please.、Uh, hope this helps. Hopefully、mm-hmm. your Taiwanese will be more clear now. Yeah. And、um, if not for me, then for Gosson. So thank you, Gosson. All right. The xia, Gosson. Very much.、Um, then we'll see you in the second class.